My favorite open source developers, the Firefox guys, have just released a new version of Firefox, version 3.6. This is a minor version improvement. It's about 15% faster than version 3.5, and it has lots of behind-the-scenes improvements. It has support for full-screen video. Um, but that's HTML video. It's something you probably don't care about. If you go to YouTube, you've always been able to see full-screen video. Um, it has support for the web open fonts format, which allows websites to download fonts a little bit quicker. And CSS gradients, which saves you from having to download a little image file that you, I promise you never would have noticed it. Um, a couple other changes, like it supports accelerometers now, so if your computer has an accelerometer like my iPhone does, then you'll be able to, it'll, the web page will be able to respond to that, but you probably don't care about that. There's one thing you probably do care about though, and that's personas. So let's go over to getpersonas.com and check out what the new personas are like. Now, previous versions of Firefox allowed them to be skinned as well. This one has a minor improvement where you can just mouse over it and it will show you the new design. So as you can see here, I just need to put my cursor over any of these personas and it pops right up. So I kind of like this uh, smoky dark one. All I need to do is click wear it. And that's what my browser looks like now. Basically it just puts a picture in the background over all the wasted space. So before you go upgrading to 3.6, think about your add-ons and extensions. Every time a developer releases an add-on, they have to mark it for the latest version of Firefox that it's compatible with. So when there's a new version of Firefox, all of the developers have to go back and update their add-ons to verify that it actually works with the new version of Firefox. It's Firefox's way of keeping your add-ons compatible. Here's the problem. Sometimes add-on developers aren't prompt about updating their extensions. In my case, there were several add-ons that didn't work. So what I did was I downloaded the Add-on Compatibility Reporter extension. You can just go to Tools, click Add-ons, and then go to the Get Add-ons tab. Click Add-on Compatibility Reporter. You can see it here. And install that. I already have it installed. Once it's installed, you can go to the Extensions tab on the Add-ons dialog box, and there'll be a Compatibility button here. You can see from the exclamation point next to the Firefox throttle icon that the Firefox throttle add-on hasn't been updated for Firefox 3.6. However, you can see in the bottom here that it is actually working. And that allows any add-on to work in version 3.6 of Firefox. So go out and get that.